Hey, what's up guys? This is your girl, Netta, on day three. Consistent, like I said, I was gonna be doing this 30 day challenge. I don't know, I'm kinda liking this. So I might turn it into, you know, 60 days, 90 days. We'll see where it goes. The vision though is for me to have at least 300 videos up on YouTube. So I have a ways to go, but the incremental daily videos are certainly going to help. And I have like 50 now, so we'll get there. Anywho, today I wanted to come and talk about this transition from teaching to now I'm in cybersecurity and it's a whole new world. Every single day I have to talk myself into greatness and I had to realize in doing that a lot of what I would do as a teacher is lean and depend on something I've always been successful in which is in school. I've always been good at school. I've always been good at receiving instruction. I've always been good at just like executing at a high level. But then I even realized that I really had no incentive to make an A plus. And a 90 is as good as a 99 in my opinion. And that understanding, that habit really impacted the way I show up at work in something that I'm not naturally skilled at. And I say that because when you are so used to giving 90% and barely skating by on that minimum, as far as what you think it takes for people to be proud of you or you get validity from people, then you start looking at your work, entrepreneurship in the same way. Oh, I just have to do the bare minimum. If I need to get, you know, two, three accounts today, well, really, I just need to get two and I'll be okay. But in order for you to get to that next level, you might need to put in a couple more hours in order to get to that three, set your goals high, hit somewhere in between, and you'll be all right. Well, now I'm struggling with that because I want my boss to tell me, um, what the bare minimum is, you know, how many hours I need to put in, basically those KPIs or K-performance indicators. What do I need to do to be successful? I think that is everybody's question because some people have been toiling for years on years and haven't necessarily seen any really real benefit from it. Well, they say, you know, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. I've been doing this going on three years now since entrepreneur, um, since becoming an entrepreneur. And I will, I would say this really started back in 2018 and about three, four years. And this stuff is hard. A lot of people talk about coming out of their previous profession, whether it be, you know, something in public service, something that uh, was really structured. For the most part, there is chaos, but I would say, you know, probably, I would say 80% of your day is structured. 80, 90%, 10% is chaos, it's annoying. But I flip to a role where it's literally 10% of my job now is structured. I work in uh, cybersecurity in a company that has a CEO that has been doing all of the work, generating millions. Now he's building out his company. And this is the perfect place I need to be at in my life. God has really structured it in that way because now when I'm thinking of building my own company to millions of dollars, generating the revenue, paying people what they're worth, this is what I need to be in front of. It scares me. I would be lying to you if I didn't say that this reality scares me. I run into lulls in my day. Uh, and sometimes it's a, a whole day of a lull that I really, really, really have to fight my way out of. You guys, I don't understand. I fight for my life to get out of this generational pool to just be mediocre. There are lulls in my day where I'm thinking about not being good enough, self-sabotage. I'm thinking of 
going back to something that is comfortable and then having to do that cycle all over again. I know if I go into a position like that, then I'm going to feel like I haven't accomplished what I need to. I'm not challenged the way I need to, but the challenge is far more scary in practical terms actually living it than it is theoretically theoretically i want to be adventurous theoretically i want to have a whole bunch of stories theoretically i want to impact a lot of people that hard work is going to be years and years of toil and nothing in return so 10 percent of my job is structured like i said it's a startup they're getting their sops together they're trying to figure out what works as far as the kpis and we are the ones that are setting the standard for those KPIs. So what that looks like is how much time effort do you put in and how much is that result and who is getting cut? So I told y'all a couple of days ago uh, that uh, two of our coworkers got fired and it's a cybersecurity sales job. So it's really bottom line, cutthroat, put effort in or get kicked out. Part of me is like, I really want to prove myself and just have that conversation around what it takes to be to get you know $250,000 in sales cold calling okay I've had I've had $250,000 from just Amazon sales you know getting the right items push 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 but when you start having conversations around I spoke to that person I developed that relationship that's a whole new level of business that you're taking yourself to and if I'm successful in that venture, then my business is already set up light years ahead, already with this path and connection to a person that built a, built a million dollar you know, empire. How many people can say that they started at a job with a CEO that built their business to two, three, four, five million dollars themselves? Not a lot of people, not a lot of people from little old Oklahoma, I know that much, but now, I said, I'm so tired of this life. I don't want this white picket fence in Dallas, Texas. I want to learn some things. I want to try some things. I want to fail. I want to cry. And God, have I been crying. I've never cried so much, but I'm still there. I'm still consistent. I'm still persevering. And that's the most important part. You still show up, you still persevere, and nobody on the other side can tell, unless of course they watch this video, then that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> but, um, 10% of my job is structured. They're figuring out the structure and I'm also figuring out how this is going to help. Well, I'm not trying to figure out how this is going to elevate. I know that it's going to elevate, but I just don't know. Um, and I won't know until it happens if I'm ready for the elevation, you know, um, reading this book, The Psychology of Money, and it talks about the responsibility looking easy because this person has built themselves up and there has been plenty of conversations with my boss he's so cutthroat and even in having the discussion with him and having the discussion with like the younger kids i'm like dang if i was 23 24 years old that would have broke me i'm going i've gone through a good amount of let's say trial or tribulation in order for me to be able to hear something and then not take it personally is really a big step for me because I'm a Gemini firstly I think with emotions first and I feel like and then it's over it's passive-aggressive our conversations is like never getting anywhere they need to get but that's what I was before and I'm no longer in that place and I'm thankful for it because I can notate that growth. I'm like, I'm not going to take it personally. I know it's just business for you. I know you've built up this million dollar empire and I'm ready to step up. Even with all the fear in me, there's so much fear. But I was listening to Stormy Wellington on the morning meetup this morning and uh she said something that really resonated with me and I'm going to leave you all with this thought. Huh. She said in doing what you are doing in your job and entrepreneurship or whatever, 
you just need to get to a breaking point and just be like this is what i need to do this has to be my greater my why has to be greater i have to work toward greater or the cycle will keep on pulling you in i know there's a cycle and i feel like i'm like get above me <laughs> oh lord and i press and i cry every morning before work like god get this devil off of me i hated this about my mother so my mother's actions just continually cycle and me as a little girl just watching it happen watching it happen like oh my god can i help you can i pull you out and to me it's an addiction my, my mother is not addicted to um any drugs or anything but there's so many behaviors activities that we can also be addicted to and to watch somebody do that and to to see yourself from the outside in also dealing with the same thing also feeling that inner child say i don't want to deal with this anymore like i don't want to be in that cycle but i also don't want to do the work to get out but i'm toiling so I'm changing my verbiage concerning that. And it's not that I don't want to, it's not that I hate. I love being able to put in a type of work that gives me the, the hourly outcome that I need to start working toward my goal, period. I love being able to and executing the type of work I need to execute in order to get me to the next level. I love it. I'm finding what I love in it. I'm executing it. I'm staying un uncomfortable and I will do it. So that's me changing my mind frame about going into work and feeling nervous. And I'm sure people hear it in the call. I'm calling people. I'm having conversations with people. I'm socially awkward, but I'm doing it. So until next time, guys, it'll be day four. 26 more days to go at minimum we're out of here thanks love you guys please like subscribe follow until next time